Guy Harwood, trainer of the brilliant dancing brave, was delighted to see Enable carry the same colors to a stunning victory in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe at Chantilly on Sunday. It is 31 years since Dancing Brave displayed an electrifying turn of foot to claim our glory under Pat Ettery, adding to his previous victories, that year in the 2000 Guineas, Eclipse, and King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Stakes. Harwood retired in 1996 and now sells high-performance motor cars, but was unsurprisingly glued to the television at the weekend. He said it was a very impressive performance, and I thought Frankie Dettori gave her a super ride. The filly helped him a lot, in that she allowed him to restrain her, and she certainly helped him at the end of the race at this time of year I sometimes think the filly's allowance is a bit unfair, but it wouldn't have made any difference to her either way. Dancing Brave, ridden by Pat Ettery, winning the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth stakes at Ascot Pod Dancing Brave was owner Khalid Abullah's second successive win in the race following Rainbow Quest's triumph in 1985. Having since struck gold with Railink 2006 and Workforce 2010, the John Gosden trained and Abel took Abdullah's tally to five and added her name to the illustrious honor with a performance for the ages. Harwood was also keen to praise Dettori, who was winning the arc for a record fifth time. He said Frankie has always been a very high-class jockey and still is. You need the horse, but you have to steer them in the right direction and he did that very well. Most jockeys ride well, but it's that enormous talent that's the difference between jockeys like Frankie and just being a very good jockey. What a day, what a Philly pick. Twitter. C O M I P H D B I L J D 3, Frankie Dettori at Frankie Dettori October 2, 2017. Cricket head Marek, trainer of dual arc winner Treve, also paid tribute to the latest vigorous heroine. Treve became the first horse since alleged in the 1970s to win back-to-back -back runnings of Europe's premier middle distance contest in 2013 and 2014 she is a top-class filly, and I was so pleased to see her win, said the trainer. When you love horses, you want to see the best horses winning, and she was so much better than the rest. She traveled so strongly, and was even a little bit free. They weren't going fast enough for her, but when Frankie asked her to quicken the race was over. Treve, seen here at Royal Ascot, was a rare dual winner of the Arc David Davy Espa and Abel, was winning her fifth successive Group 1 following her triumphs in the Epsom Oaks, Irish Oaks, King George and Yorkshire Oaks. Asked how she would compare her to her former superstar filly, Hedmarek joked when she wins of second Arc, then maybe I can compare her to Treve. I wish I had her in my stable, that is for sure. King George Hero Manchu was one of three ARC winners for McKinney and Toby Melville Eva McKinney won the ARC three times aboard Carroll House 1989, Manchu 1999 and See the Stars 2009. He said she's obviously a fantastic filly. It's great to see. She looks like a filly who likes to get on with it, and you'd have to say she was very impressive. She's an exceptional filly, and it's a great record for Frankie to have.